وما تدري نفس ماذا تكسب غدا وما تدري نفس بأي أرض تموت We don't know what will happen today when we leave here What will happen tomorrow? What will happen next week, next month? We don't know. Many people left their homes in the morning. They did not return in the evening. Many people came back home in the evening. They did not leave the home in the morning. Their journey was terminated. So 2,000 verses in the Quran, they keep reminding us every page, open almost every page of this book, there is somewhere, either the, on the right side, left side, the upper side, the lower side, there is a reference to the Day of Judgment. There is a reference to death because it's a reality. It's a reality, but we don't take it serious. We think death is reserved for others, not for us, because I'm healthy, I'm happy, I have money, I have home, I have job, I have family. Therefore, Israel is not going to get close to me. He's all only targeting others, not me. This is not right. This is an illusion. We have to be prepared. Yes, you may live very happy and you work very serious. You go to school, you go to your office, you build a family, you enjoy your life. But at the same time, your passport is in your hand. You carry the passport and the boarding pass in your hand. So any moment, the angel of death arrives, you are ready. You are ready for that departure. And this is the meaning of the hadith of Imam Al-Hasan alayhi salatu was salam. اِعْمَلْ لِدُنْيَاكَ كَأَنَّكَ تَعِيشُ أَبَدًا وَعْمَلْ لِآخِرَتِكَ كَأَنَّكَ تَمُوتُ غَدًا You may work even if you are 70, 80, 90 years old. Work for this dunya, for the success of this dunya. Because this life is a life of labor and work and production. While you are in the midst of your enthusiasm, your energy, your work, your engagement with people, you have to be prepared to leave this life. How do you prepare for that? How do you prepare when you don't wrong people? when you don't abuse people around you, when you don't abuse anyone, 